Fate comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our moment of power topic today is No Sinners in Heaven, Part 3. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burn it with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Revelation chapter 21 verse 8. Here, the Apostle John was talking about the New Jerusalem, the city that God has prepared for his people. And this city was said to have descended to the earth after the 1000 year reign of Christ, the millennium with his saints, with his people. So at the end of the 1000 years, the city descends and then there is a resurrection, a second resurrection of the wicked. And the righteous are in the city while the wicked are outside the city. And we are told here that those who are fearful and unbelieving, some people will never do what is right because of fear. They are afraid to stand for God. They are afraid to make a decision. They are afraid of what they will eat and what they will wear. They are afraid of their lives. And so they will never do what's right. So that's why the fearful cannot be in the kingdom of God. Then there are people who will never bring themselves to believe, no matter the evidence before them. You can imagine that someone is believing that nothingness created everything, given time. You know, when you give it time, nothingness can become something and everything. That's the theory of evolution. How could somebody believe that? How could somebody believe that hair-brained nonsense? And then the abominable and murderers, people can become so inhumane that they will eliminate those they don't like. Such people, the Bible says that they will end up in the lake of fire. Because after the city descends, if you read Revelation chapter 20, that is the chapter before 21 from which we have read. If you read chapter 20 from verse 7 to 9, you find out that after the city has descended, the wicked will want to compass the city and then the fires of hell fall down from heaven from god and devour them that will be hell that we're talking about that's why we say that hell is not burning now but it will fall down from heaven and those who will be in that fire are listed in verse 8 of revelation chapter 21 but the fearful the unbelieving and the abominable the murderers the whoremongers, these are immoral people, people who cannot look at other people's wives or children and look away and pray that God will help them. Sorcerers, these are people who practice witchcraft, black magic or white magic, whatever kind of magic with the powers of the devil. Idolaters and all liars, the Bible says they shall have their part in the lake that burneth with fire. That leak will be on the earth. That is when the fire falls down from heaven. The saints will be in the city. The city will be protected from every kind of harm and danger. And the fire will devour the wicked. And that's going to be the second death. Okay, see, there is no eternal life for the wicked. The wicked will die the second time. The Bible calls it the second death. And that second death takes place in the lake of fire. A lot of people believe that the wicked will continue to live on, but the Bible doesn't say that. Hell will be on earth. When hell has done its work, the earth will be recreated for the people of God. But those who will enter into the city, into the kingdom, are those who did the will of God. The Bible says in Revelation 22, verses 14 and 15, it says, Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have rights to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city 
For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Do you know that there are people who love lies? They just love to be told lies. They love religious lies. They love political lies. They love all kinds of lies. And the devil will deceive them and they will not have part in the city of God. God is calling you today to do a rethink of your life. God is calling you, oh son of man. God is saying, come out of sin. Come out of drunkenness. Come out of sorcery. Somebody is trying to tell you, you know, you need to have some powers to help you. There is only one true ultimate power in the world. And that's the power of Jesus, the Holy Spirit. Many people will not come to the Holy Spirit, come to Jesus and have the Holy Spirit power because they know they cannot use the Holy Spirit to do evil. So they go to the devil, even church people. They do that. The young people in the church, they are involved in rituals. They are involved in stealing. They are involved in cybercrime. They are involved in all kinds of things because of money because of the love of money god is calling you today and he's saying i don't want you to die i want you to repent i can bless you I can bless your life you don't need to go to the devil you don't need to do rituals and you don't need to sign your life up to the devil i have created you for myself and god is calling you he said look you can be part of the kingdom you can be part of the kingdom and god is saying that he wants to save you let us pray. Let me pray with you this morning. This is a serious matter. Let me pray with you this morning. Father, we come to you today. I come with the listener to you. And we bow before your throne. We as sinners, we have sinned and we need your forgiveness. We pray that you will blot out our sins, oh Lord, by the blood of Jesus Christ who ministers for us in the heavenly sanctuary right now. Lord, we come to the heavenly sanctuary by faith. We follow Jesus into the Holy of Holies, where he makes the final atonement for your children. Be with us and bless us. Take all the glory and take all the honor. There is none holy as you. There is none beside you. Neither is any rock like you. Help your child. I perceive that somebody is afraid to even repent because if they repent, they are threatened that they will die. That if they change, Oh, but Lord, I pray that you fill the heart of your son with faith today, right now. And let him know that he will not die if he comes to you and believes in you. Oh, Lord, let him choose life. Oh, take all the glory. I'll be with your daughter. Let her repent. Let her love people. And stop destroying people with her mouth. Lord, bless us today and take all the glory. Help us to become candidates for heaven. So that when Jesus comes again, we would not have missed out. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.